How do you figure out, you know, what is important to focus on with so much going on right now? Uh, I just do what Jane Fonda tells me to do. No, I, but <laughs> honestly, um, I, you know, we yep. do, it does feel like it is like a fire hose all the time. There's always, so, you know, we have, we have a show, our, my show airs on Wednesdays. We have a show, uh, that's very planned for tomorrow. It's really exciting. We're doing a whole piece on reality winner. I'm like so excited by it. And, and we have this verdict coming down and we're like, okay, well, the whole world could erupt. We have to listen to the, you know, sometimes you have to throw out your plan and create a whole new plan. You have to be responsive in a way to news that is so staggeringly painful. Um, and I don't think that comedy shows used to be that way. I mean, like historically, <laughs> it's so rare to have a place where people will just listen to you. And even if they'll only okay. give you like that five minute window, just because you have a platform, you can just take it and do something with it. Like who doesn't want to leave the world like incrementally better than it was right. when they started out? You know, this conversation is a, such a great reminder of these great, okay, I'm really close to my gynecologist. Let's just put that <laughs> up front. And every time I go and see her, we say the same thing to each other, which is just give women the entire world to run for 10 years. Yeah. If you don't like it better at the end of 10 years, you can have it back, but I guarantee you're going to like it better. Yeah. <laughs> <That's totally. laughs> the, end, so the end of one year. I've really, I have to say that, uh, you know, you are, my approach to the show now is so much more grounded because we just aren't dealing with such, I mean, you know, the world is the world, but we aren't dealing with like a really chaotic, a really chaotic leadership. You know what I mean? Like we, we now have professionals in place who actually care about outcomes, you know, um, and that has given us the chance to like acclimatize to a new elevation, which has been really a gift. But it gives us the freedom to put tons of stories on the table for the future that we never could have done before mm -hmm. because we were, you know, responsive to the news cycle or whatever. I tend to, I, I usually, I'm trying to really just, I'm trying to live in the moment more. I'm trying to really enjoy the work as I do it, I'm trying to like really enjoy it as it comes and, and imagine myself in the future as a beekeeper. Honestly, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think there's something different is to come. I'm not sure what that is yet. And I think, you know, like enjoying what I'm doing now often takes me to a place that I really wouldn't have expected. And, and, and I do have two beehives now. So just watch out. <laughs> 